So All Star is officially behind us, but you know the sneakers don't stop. And I think I really have something for just about everyone this week. Let's start the show. <laughs> Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. As you can tell, I'm not in my usual studio today, but the show must go on. So let's kick things off with some things that are dropping on Thursday, starting off with Nike Basketball and Kevin Durant. The KD-10 hasn't been getting a ton of shine, but the shoe is still one of the better silhouettes when it comes to actually playing in a basketball shoe. Big shout out to designer Leo Chang for that. You can grab this wolf gray colorway over at Finish Line for the usual $150. Now, moving on to something new, we have the Nike Epic React Fly. I've personally been running in this shoe for about a month now and I really like it. It isn't too bouncy and its responsiveness is just right where you need it to be. Nike created the foam in-house and of course they have that fly net upper to keep it nice and soft. Additionally, on the lifestyle side, I think it looks great that way as well. Officially launching on Thursday, Finish Line is going to have pairs of this shoe in five different colorways for both men and women. Those are going to cost you $150 and if you want to see a full review, make sure you click the link that's sitting up here up top to get a full look at Nike's newest technology that I think a lot of people are really going to like. Keep it fly knit on the brain. Nike is going all black with the fly knit trainer. It is crazy to think that the fly knit trainer was one of the first introductions to fly knit a few years ago and it still resonates with sneakerheads. Pick this black pair up for $150 on Friday. Switching over to Adidas, we have the R1 NMDs dropping. Now, they're gonna be two pairs for women and two pairs for men. And Adidas has done a really great job with the colorways on these. These rock that STLT moniker in their name and the women look like they won this drop with that linen colorway with the red accents but the men are getting this olive colorway, which looks nice as well. Either way you go, these have prime knit on the upper and they have that very unique prime knit design on these. Those will cost you $170 for men or for women. Keeping the running vibes alive, Nike is dropping two colorways of the Vapor Street. Now, I'll be totally honest, this is a very different looking shoe, but if you can pull it off, I think it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look really dope. Uh, these are dropping in both black and red and those are gonna cost you $180. On the retro side of things, it looks like Nike is mixing and maxing things on the basketball front. The Air More Money has been the talk of the town lately and you can pick up this Mo Money pair for $160 with all of those crazy designs on the upper. Jay-Z calls him for real. Well, the rest of us, we just call him Pharrell, but it looks like he's cooking up something with Adidas Originals on the Hopi Blank Canvas Capsule Collection. The collection includes the Human NMD, the Tennis, and the Stan Smith, all of which are inspired by the spiritual Hindu festival of spring in India and Nepal. All three pairs drop on Friday for between $130 and $250. Moving to Friday, we see some retro love on the Air Max 98. This shoe looks like it will get a ton of love this year, and this Gundam colorway has had the internet buzzing. Those will cost you $160. On the Air Max side of things, or rather the Vapor Max side of things, Nike is set to drop the Air Vapor Max Plus. This model builds off of the tuned air, as you can see on the upper, and then switches in that Vapor Max bottom. It looks like Nike is going to do a lot of this hybrid sort of stuff with the Vapor Max and this is really just the beginning. You can look for those that cost you $190. Switching to basketball, the grade school folks are getting mad love on Saturday. The ladies are getting the Air Jordan 13 in the City Flight colorway. I really love the mix of the black and white on the upper of this one, and the ladies get this exclusive, and it's gonna cost them $140. For the grade school guys, it looks like they're getting a little bit of LeBron 15 love with an exclusive colorway as well. The battle net upper on those is really nice, and I really feel like the LeBron 15 is the best LeBron signature shoe in quite a long time. Those will cost the grade school crowd $160. For you Jordan heads out there, the Air Jordan 1 bread toe is dropping on Saturday now, as you can expect, considering it has bread toe, that the toe is black and red. And this is obviously the retro OG style, which is the style that I really, really like. Those will cost you $160 as usual. And keeping things focused on basketball, we finished up with the Nike PG2. The upper of this one is inspired by Paul George's new home in Oklahoma. And I really like how Nike used the black as the base and then left the blue and the orange to kind of pop as accents off of the shoe. Uh, as you know, the PG2 is $110. You can grab those over at Finish Line. And it really stands as one of the best deals you can get on a great basketball shoe right now. So if you can't pick those up, I definitely recommend it. So that's gonna do it for the show today. Obviously not in my studio, but again, the show does not stop. Making sure I bring you guys all the information you need on all of the dope sneaker releases that are coming this weekend. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.